live sushi is my first restaurant. I started live sushi when I was 25 years old. Uh, so it's very nearby here. Um, after live sushi, I went to Japan to start learn how to do the omakase style. Um, since I and then opened my omak first omakase restaurant when I was 20, uh, 35. So like 10 years learning and go to Japan, eat and train in Japan, like two, three restaurants. And finally today we have this. It's like a dream come true thing. Right. You know? Congratulations yeah. again. Thank also. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your and first uh, mission to start was 2016, right? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. And yes. you've opened since 2015, I believe? Two, two, so, yeah, it's uh, 2015, yes. June. End June. of the June. Okay. Yeah. I believe I was so, here right when they opened. Yeah, I think so. I was here, yeah. That right, was wonderful. Yeah, it's uh, just about almost three years anniversary. Okay, nice. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. restaurant. Thank you, thank you. And I learned a lot from uh, him too. From Shafiro. <laughs> what a compliment. <laughs> I, I learned how to make sushi. No, I don't think so. No, no, I learned from the. I have to, I have to. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, that's incredible, right? The cucumber cutting and everything is. No, no. Oh, of course. Of course. This is uh, from his video. Yeah. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Seriously, I learned them you know, years ago. Yeah? yeah. You know them? You I know it. A YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but he, but he, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> that was the first remember. video that uh, we did that was almost seven years ago. Yeah. A lot of that. That has like 14 million views on the video. A lot of video inside there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Look at this. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna serve some uh, fish. If, okay. If it's okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We serve Whatever some good fish, good seafood, and uh, and then we have some beef coming today. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Hey. This one. This one. Yeah. You need you need good knife. Actually, we just. Good knife plus, you know, doing every day, just not that hard, you know. You have to just keep doing it. One thing, keep doing it 10,000 times and then you're good. So there's the sushi too. How you feel the sushi rice, just keep doing it. Every day you do 1,000 sushi rice, after 10 years, you, you are, your hand is automatically like doing that. You know. Knife work too. Every day doing it, every day doing it. In your dream, when you sleep, still doing it <laughs> and then you yeah, some someday you're good someday but still learning though still yeah yeah still learning okay. thank you so today the, the meals wish today we're going to serve the house-made ankimo so the ankimo that we do is a little different than the, the normal we, we we make our uh so first of all you marinate the ankimo with salt and then we um, wash it, cook with ankimo sauce, which is uh, uh, sugar, soy sauce, and uh, dashi. Uh, so very flavorful. And uh, this way, we don't we don't steam, so we we cook it and we serve it almost uh, one or two days. So nice, fresh, and soft. Sometimes when you cut, when you score the fish, that makes looks sexier, you know, and better taste. So you use the edge of the cutting board, kind of control a little bit.
show you something else and learn from him. It's just, it's just the, the, another garnish. Okay. This, this is level one thing. Earlier, that's that, that, that level three. But this, <laughs> this is just, just level one. Just, just don't cut it. Just don't, don't cut it, the roll. Just make a little space on the bottom. Right. And then just the finger, just push a little bit. And then just like that. A little garnish. Nice. Very, very nice. Yep. This one. Make it pretty so that people enjoy with the eye first. Sure. Eat with the eye and then eat with the camera for Instagram and then with your mouth. So the way you cut the fish, it makes it makes the how the sushi is gonna look like. Fish cutting nice, pretty, and sushi will be look good. If the fish is too long, too short, and sushi not gonna look good. So many different ways to do the sushi. Some people trim it and then just do like that, or you can do and trim it. You can do this. So this is the uh, kamasu. 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 The, the skin is very tasty. So. We save the skin and then you just uh, have to score it because we need to sear it. the cutting process so normally after you cut fish you want to lay down on the board and then let the fish sit a little bit before you make it because you don't want to be cold when customer eats sushi it have to be nice like room temperature so put in the mouth and the rice should be a little bit warm so that's a perfect sushi temperature some chef only take out from the fish and cut right away and they eat and serve right away. And that's very wrong. It's cold. Mm. You don't want to eat cold fish. That's true. Very true. We have a, a two different type of ginger. We right. have the this this is a regular pickled ginger with uh, sugar. Uh, we have a, we have a shin sugar. It's a, the, the one the premium one from Japan. I'm gonna serve you both. Shin sugar. Oh yes, that's beautiful. More expensive than fish.
10 gram. 10 gram. 9 or 10, but, but I'm looking for 10. This is serious. Yeah. Yeah, 10 gram. Why, how come this one? The moment of truth. <laughs> uh, so just a uh, fresh fresh. Uh, so your finger have to be sensitive on this. This is chibi. Ten gram. Perfect. Should be ten gram. Normally start white fish. Why the white fish first? Because the taste is not that strong. Okay. And uh, it's it's for open open your uh, you know your the palate. palate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If someone you know requests, they want to eat uni first. Okay. It's fine, but we suggest you know yeah. white fish first. That's a great point. And you don't want to hold your fish in your hand too long, so that's why when when we make sushi, it, it looks like uh, it looks like we're dancing, but it's like we have to we have to move around. So you don't want the, your your hand to warm the fish too much. Mm -hmm. A little bit uh, stronger. Okay. This is the first I know normally in Japan we don't use this, but yeah, here we have to use sometimes. The temperature is much higher. You can just cook, barely cook the outside, than what we need, and the fish inside is still raw. That's what we're looking for. So this one, because we just seared it, so I recommend you eat right away. Okay. So that's uh, how it looks, you know, the sushi. Just barely one bite, you know, sushi one bite. You don't want to take two bites because you will kind of you don't you don't get that mix you know perfect mix. Okay, yes. Come on, thank you. Does the sushi have to be like like that? You know, it looks like a fish still swim. And the other way, you know, we're gonna do this. Make too hard. Three years ago we met here. I knew you from uh, Live Sushi actually. Live Sushi? I, that was probably like eight years ago when I first met you. Maybe more. I kind of, yeah, Live, live oh, Sushi. Wow. wow.
Which fish is this one? Sagoshi. Sagoshi. Okay. Sagoshi is a baby king mackerel. Baby king mackerel. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. This is sexy. That's from Japan, right? Hokkaido. Hokkaido. The, the Hokkaido. the best grade from Hokkaido. Yeah. Beautiful. You don't know how this this tastes like. Let me make a let me make a sushi and then ask for one of our customer to the, for the feedback. He knows about uni too. Right? Can you give a feedback? No, 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 feedback, please. Just taste and uh, give me a, a f real feedback, please. How this one is. Really? Okay. Let's, let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, the one tray, yeah. That's a real taste. Let me give the professional a taste. Oh, no. Sushi rice. It's, uh, every 34 minutes, point half, I have to change. So rice is not really white white. It's kind of this, this is a white rice, kamenishiki, but but this rice is uh, made from the uh, vinegar, sugar. The vinegar we use akasu, so it turns red. Uni with uh, nori, with seaweed, kind of cover a little bit natural uni taste. Even uni nigiri, you have to stay on the rice like like a little fan. Mm -hmm. A little bit of wasabi on top, so also you can taste the layer. Right, and without the seaweed, you get more of a taste of it. Yep, you taste the uni mixed with the rice. So the rice tastes really good. It right. Maybe seventy percent from the rice, but okay. Let's let's give to him on there. If he say it's good, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so sweet and melts in your mouth, huh? Just melt. It just it goes together with the sushi rice, and then this uh, become one thing. It's a murigai, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Delicious. Uh, awayagi. Awayagi. So sweet. This I like the texture. Yeah. So rice soft. And you make sushi. After you make after done. After done. Yeah. Yeah. Have to remove. <laughs> you you hate it, but. You, the sushi needs to still look the same. You cannot just like that. Just you need a lot of practice at you know, a lot of practice. We had to see that again. <laughs> Thank you so much.
This is from your farm, right? You have a special farm in Japan that supplies it to you. Yeah, Uno, Uno farm, yes. This is a... Uh, COVID. You can lock down every year how much you have to buy and they lock down the price for you. Yeah. Okay. So not many people wow, beautiful. have one, you know, like this. You cut fish on this board, you have to cut the meat on the different one because right. you give the beef fish taste, it's not good. Be a very expensive piece. Yeah. Yeah. Kobe beef it's with Hokkaido uni, truffle, uh, and we have gold flake. Wow. Uh, Thank you, Chef Jackson. What a wonderful evening tonight, and what a great surprise. And we were just talking, and it's very interesting. Uh, you said that you've been watching the channel since five years ago. Five years ago, at least five years ago. Right. And then now he's in front of me. <laughs> it's like old friend. Now we, now exactly. I made the sushi for him and yes. uh, it was wonderful. Everything. The dinner was amazing. So, wow. so good. Yeah. And I use his technique um, back to him. And uh, yeah, yeah, the decoration. You know, That's yeah, really interesting. Everything. You guys got to come. This place is a Michelin star restaurant. Congratulations. I know how hard it must have been and how long it took you to accomplish this goal, but you know, you're living the American dream and congratulations. If you guys ever come through San Francisco, you gotta call early. I would say, how? what's the wait time to come in here? Uh, I say it's about, call us about two weeks before. Two weeks before, okay. Yeah. And hopefully they can squeeze you in, but this is, uh, I have to call Master Sushi Chef Jackson. Amazing, delicious food, presentation, taste. I'm not just saying that, it's amazing. So, so good. We try to make customer happy here. Yeah, uh, most important. And a little pro tip: invite him for some uh, some sake. <laughs> right. Good time, good food, and good company. Right. And good friend. Yeah. Thank good friends. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.